If you don't like drinking, drugs, or cursing, this might not be the podcast for you. All right, everyone, welcome to the Willie P Podcast. This is episode seven, I think, right? It should be seven. Who gives seven? a fuck? Episode whatever. Uh, you don't give a shit about the fucking title about it. You don't give a shit about what fucking number is it. Uh, all you're here for is to hear a bunch of fucking drunk ass rambling motherfuckers talk about uh, shit that doesn't matter to anyone. So we got today fucking me, Steven, your fucking goddamn uh, eccentric host, <clears throat> wearing my fucking black ass fucking, uh, fucking, uh, what is it? Hawaiian shirt. It's cool. It's got Panthers. It's cool. It's fucking awesome looking. Uh, you can't see that shit because we, yeah, exactly, I forgot. I fucking forgot. I fucking forgot. I'm so used to the old goddamn system. All right, so the old system, you can see shit. New system, you can't see shit. I'm wearing a really cool shirt, though. Just, you just know that. My tattoo is poking through my shirt. It's really cool. Fuck you. We got uh, Voodoo over here. Uh, Voodoo, Badass oh, naked. As always, as always if uh, Voodoo is not on podcast, it's because the uh, federale is finally fucking caught up to him for uh, uh, child sex trafficking. Uh, then we have... No, fucking, uh, <laughs> then we got Dancy. Dancy's my manager. He's fucking in charge of all this stuff now. He's uh, fucking uh, doing a great job. Say hello, Dancy. What's up, guys? I said say hello, not what's up, guys. You fucking failed me immediately. Hello? Fail me again, I'll cut your ball. You failed abortion. You <laughs> piece of shit. All right, I'll then we got your fucking. Next uh... <laughs> <laughs> your next pay. Don't don't think don't think for one second that your next paycheck is gonna be light. All right, then we, of course, of course, as always, we have fucking the man, the myth, the legend himself. We have Rifleman. Uh, say what's going on, Rifleman. <laughs> What's up, you big-headed cunt? Yeah, exactly, okay. <laughs> All right, so today on the Really Pete Podcast, we have a very special episode, and why is that? Voodoo, why do, we have, why do we have a very special episode? Go ahead, take it away. Because I'm one week sober, I guess? I don't Yay, know. Yay, boo. Yay! <laughs> because it's fun. Oh, wait, wait. I got this, I got this. Because it's fun and fucking spooky season! <laughs> it is. It is October. It is. Oh, it, is October. it is. It is. It is October. It is Halloween. Oh, fuck. Oh. Yell? Yeah, okay, so uh, Voodoo yelled I hard enough to get uh, uh, oh. or take man penis in half. I'll tell, he yelled I'll too tell loud. everybody. I'll tell everybody why it's a perfect, like the best episode of them all. Since I'm the manager here. <laughs> it's true. Dancy's the manager. <laughs> yes. Uh, so. If you haven't already fucking heard, we got merch. It's in the uh, description, and I'll I'll put it I'll put it in the, the link in the fucking video as well. Go buy our fucking merch. merch. Give us go all your buy money. our shit. Go buy my go fucking buy shit. shit. I'm not for okay. I'm, all right, I said this we before. Have, we, have to, said it. we have to fund. We have to fund Steven's alcohol problem. You have yeah. to fund my alcohol. It's not a problem because I have. It's an, an opportunity. opportunity. It's problem. It's, it's, yeah. It, 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 it's only problem if you, if it affects you. But it, it's not affecting right? anybody. It's not affecting me. An alcoholic needs a drink, and I have a case, so I'm good to go. I'm not an yeah. alcoholic. Fucking all right. So yeah, go ahead, buy our merch. You know, I'm not gonna be like one of those YouTubers that subtly like tricks you into buying his merch. I'm gonna tell you outright. Go fucking give me money. Go buy my shit. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be cool. You walk around, people will be like, "What the fuck is a Whippy podcast?" You'll be like, "You would know because you're not cool." That's how, that's that's all you gotta do. You know, don't even spread my name around. Just fucking wear it, hold it, wash it. Don't wash it. I don't give a shit. If you have $20 left in your fucking bank account, dude, and that's all you can afford is a fucking uh, t-shirt from us, dude, buy the $20 and then starve to death on the street wearing a sick-ass fucking Willie Pete podcast. Masturbate on if you want take, too, I guess. I don't know. It yeah, makes a really good cum take rag. Take your mom's credit card. Take really your mom's good credit card if, if you don't have any money at all. Uh, yeah. Take your mom's credit card and buy it. Buy everything we have, just every single one. There's a mug, there's a polo, there's a sh there's two different types of shirts. They're very basic right now, and I am working on getting more stuff done. This is what this. So basically, or you could sell your body. What what we what we're selling merch for, and what we're doing this other thing that I'm going to get to, into here in a minute is so that we can get more cool sh cool shit to be able to give away to you guys. It's, Cooler and you know, more shit. It's for the professional work. <laughs> and my alcohol. Yeah, no, the bottom well, and more alcohol. Honestly, okay, so we'll cap it out. We'll cap it out at about 90% for alcohol. 10% will reinvest into the whole... Uh, <laughs> what are we called? Too drunk? I don't even remember what the fuck we're called. <laughs> the too drunk <laughs> we're brand. We're reinvesting into the fucking brand. <laughs> the whole... Willie Pete. <laughs> 
thing. <laughs> Willie, okay, so Willie Pete is the podcast. Too Drunk is the YouTube channel. And people call me Steven is the TikTok, right? That's like the whole fucking thing going on. Mm. Uh, well, well, I mean, it will it will help support your six beers. So you'll be able it, it to will. do more six beers. Yeah, I will be able to do more six beers. I've been lacking on that. I've been fucking lacking on that. I need to get Steven back will to be able to buy six belt. beers at a so time here's, again. Here's yeah. this other thing, guys. We also created a fucking Patreon. It's still kind of, it's up. You can go find it. I'll link it as well. But uh, we're working on getting some stuff kinks worked out in it. Um, support is amazing. Uh, All spoke yeah. to Steven. We got some fucking koozies. And we got the some first, koozies. first, yes. what? The first 20 of them are going to go to if you go onto the Patreon and you sub for the monthly sub, our first. 20 people will uh, get a koozie. And then... Yes. yes. And, and the That's pretty good. Get a Willy Pete podcast. Koozies are dope. Uh, we, we, we don't have pictures of them, but uh, they're black, and they have the Willy Pete podcast logo on them. So Same if you fucking song. drink beer out of a can, a bottle, or even a goddamn... Do koozies go on fucking glass? Or no? no. I mean... No, Some huh? times ish. Okay, well, if you're a fucking, if you're a real one, I mean, you, you, you can warm, you know you can warm your ball sack with them. I mean, you, you do whatever you want with them. You, if you fucking wa- if you drink beer at all, if you fucking, drink, you if you fucking sign up to the here's I'll, I'll throw in another fucking promotion for you assholes. If you fucking if you do the lowest fucking tier, right? Any fucking goddamn pr- right? Are we doing the lowest tier for that one for the fucking koozies? Is that what you just said? No, 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 no. It's it's not the low. It's not the monthly um, support. Four dollar one. Not Fuck not you. the riffraff one. The next I one. I think up, it should there's... be. Why would it not be? Let's do it. do it. Let's do it. Why not, dude? No, if go, go ahead and Twenty do people it. supporting us for four dollars. That's eighty dollars a month that we can reinvest into this shit. So yes, yeah. I think we should. First yeah. twenty. Okay. First twenty. Yeah. First twenty. Yeah. First twenty. They get koozie. First twenty that get any any sort of fucking Patreon at all will get fucking a koozie, a beer koozie, right? Or soda koozie. You know, if you're not twenty one, a uh, wink. Nudge. The uh, way fucking... the way we'll do it, we'll the way we'll do it is after you purchase it, take a screenshot of your receipt or whatever it is, the final thing that shows that you got that membership, and send it to uh, myself. You can find me on TikTok. I'm Dancy Antelope eighty nine or Steven or Rifleman. Um, just send just it to, to just, us. Just, or just, even just me, you dancing. dipshit. Me or, or Voodoo. Yeah, voodoo, me, or Danny. One of us. Or, or we could just fucking see that we have a new Patreon subscriber and use your fucking, uh, uh, your fucking, you know, use the same name as you. Yeah. And then we can message you on Patreon and fucking find out where yeah. the fuck we need to send this shit. And, yeah. Well, I said it anyway, up. The, so the, the other enticing no matter thing, what, you're signing up, you're putting your mailing address in. So we'll have mailing yes. addresses. Well, yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, how and I've, I've already got, I've already got, first. I've already got set up a random PO box. They're all going to come from. So yeah. So so, first twenty are going to get those. Uh, fucking, they're limited edition. I I think we've agreed that they are going yes. to stay limited edition. Yeah. They yeah. are OG Willie P podcast. Fucking. Uh, it's it's a one time. So deal. in like forty years, when I'm actually like super famous, and we're all super famous. You're gonna have like a nice collector title. <laughs> when I'm like, <laughs> when I'm like right managing, when I'm time. managing an actor, <laughs> when I'm out when ma- I'm... managing an actor, and uh, Stephen's out there being hilarious, and Voodoo's out there being a major drunk. Oh my God, and... we got a oh new God, person in a podcast. Oh, oh, oh. It's fucking we, Michael. We had Fuck the you guys. Head him. Fuck you guys. Fuck, Fuck you, Michael. Fuck you, Michael. Fuck my left nut. Fuck you, Mike. Fuck you, Mike. You ass motherfucker. You Q-tip. You cute tip Minnesota motherfucker. You, here, <laughs> you fucking skinhead looking head ass. No. How, the, how the fuck are you guys? What the fuck? Hey, we're fucking forever. great. We have been talking ah. about all of our merch and podcast or podcast stuff. So let's go ahead and go into our first subject, guys. Uh, we were briefly talking about just before we came on here about airplanes. And I don't remember what it was. Airplane. airplane sizes. Oh, about we were talking about we were talking about the the movie airplane. So oh, that's a great fucking. Oh movie. yeah, the movie the movie yeah. airplane. Yeah. So, so I worked Picked for the wrong day for a little bit. Smoking. We we uh we got these one seventy fives, and on these one seventy fives, when you're closing it out for the night during the winter, especially in colder places like where I was in Wyoming, and up north more, 
you have to do, purge the system of water, otherwise it freezes, and then it bursts the pipes, and then the pipes <laughs> le- leak, and then they get up to altitude, they freeze on the lines, and the airplane is completely useless and cannot turn, go up, down, and it just get, runs out of fuel because yeah. it's You frozen. basically die. Yeah, God, are we Anyways, so we have, to, we, have to go in, we have to go in. We have to go in and turn on the jet. <laughs> not not the engines, but we have to turn on <laughs> turn on certain parts in it. So there was one day I climbed up <sighs> into the fucking captain's seat to do this, and um, this guy like walked up behind me, and I was like, "You ever uh, you ever seen a grown man naked?" And he had to turn <laughs> around and fucking walk away because he was not expecting me to turn around and say that. <laughs> I the man has not fucking reverence. seen airplane. Man has not fucking seen airplane. No, no, he has. He just wasn't expecting me to climb up into the cockpit of an airliner and turn around. Did and you say, just rip ass at it? <laughs> not turn scary. around and say, uh, "You had never seen a, or have you ever seen a grown man naked?" He wasn't expecting. Like gladiator movies. Hey, fucking turn your goddamn camera on, Michael, so I can make fun of your stupid face. <laughs> Fuck you! You want to flip me off, bitch? I'll kick your ass, dude. I'll find a moose. You're trying. I was talking about this you're earlier. Short. You're kind of talking... short, so you're I'm not. I'm kind of gonna... short. I'm taller than you. I'm fucking taller. I was talking about this earlier. I could beat the shit out of a fucking full-grown bull moose, dude. No problem, dude. No Come shot. At me, dog. No uh, fucking uh, shot. I'll go at you. I'll go uh, at uh, you. Dude, you don't want the fucking goddamn wrists, Holy dog. Shit. Okay, actually, that's something you're I'm like insecure a about. Chihuahua. Is the size like of my wrist? They're very small. <laughs> They're, I have very small wrists. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, right? Like, look, so, <laughs> my hands are Jesus moment here. My right hands now. are big, right? My hands are big, but my wrists are just. They look like they could break at any second. Oh, they're yeah, so flimsy. Dude. Watch, watch, watch. Well, you can't even see it on the podcast, but yeah, they can't even see it. Right, it so describe it. it. I'll describe it. I'll describe it. Just describe yeah, it. I'll describe it. He's a His gangling motherfucker. Is... <laughs> if you've ever seen fucking Steven, he's a twig. He's, he's got he looks, like a, he, he looks like a 6'3 skeleton with a beer belly. If you're a man, have you ever helicoptered? Steven, Steven you know how you're famous like. as fuck? I don't helicopter, I fucking pendulum. It's too Steven, big to you know helicopter. You're you're waiting. Fuck? <laughs> yes, I'm famous. I'm the most famous person on earth. Yeah, my, my roommate just recognized you and was like, does, does he have a TikTok? <laughs> I do have a TikTok, And he has dude. merch. Tell him to I go do. buy the merch. And I have merch. merch and I have merch. Too. Go buy my merch now. <laughs> uh, so, Andy Michael. A manager. Uh, M- Michael. And a uh, manager, dude. Me... I'm so famous, I have a fucking manager, dude. <laughs> I think we need to steer this conversation away at this moment in time. <laughs> we do. We do. All right. So, okay. Now, the last little thing. The last little thing. The last thing that I'm going to touch on with the Patreon thing is... Everyone that is a Patreon fucking supporter will get a shout out every podcast. Yes. I'll go through the yeah, list. That's a good and I'll idea. Give them a fucking uh, yeah. shout out. So you'll get the koozie. You'll get, uh, if you're the lowest level, doesn't matter what level you are, you'll get the fucking koozie. If you're the first 20, uh, you'll get a fucking shout out. You'll support my alcoholism, which is just the, the, the best thing, right? Like, that's the top tier thing you can do is support my alcoholism. Uh, <laughs> and then if the higher up you go, I think uh, the second to last tier, you get a cool little sticker. Uh, that I haven't seen in my entire life, and I have no idea what it uh, looks like, but it's cool. It's literally just the fucking logo. Just, it's the logo, but it's, it's a sticker. The, it's uh, the black background, the black background, and then it says the Willie Pete podcast on it. And, and then the, if you're the, the highest supporter, the highest tier, the premium tier, you'll get a hoodie. Uh, and also, check this out. Check this out, you dumb fucks. Uh, fucking, uh, uh, you'll get uh, you'll get exclusive content. We'll post. We're going to post, like, extra shit. We're going to post a uh, different kind of podcast. So it won't be the Willie P podcast. It's going to be a new podcast. Don't worry about that. That's coming exclusively to the Patreon. Uh, we're going to fucking post uh, the raw footage of my Six Beers videos. Uh, so just in case you were wondering, on YouTube, they're less than uh, eight minutes, right? On YouTube, they're less than eight minutes. But the actual raw footage of my fucking Six Beers is, uh, it takes about 30 to 35 minutes. And then I edit it down. So you'll get a shitload of extra content. And usually I get lazy and I'm like, I don't want to edit this anymore. I just cut a bunch of shit out. So you get a bunch of shit. You also get uh, fucking blooper reels. Blooper reels. I will swing my dick around on camera for fun. If you really want to see that, you know, I'll paint it different oh, colors if you want. If if you go with the premium, not the premium with the hoodie, but the premium, um, there's there's a slight chance that you'll get uh, access to Rifleman's premium snap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> Rifleman, you're going to have a premium step? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just going to be ass pictures all the time. Oh, my God. Just, just... hairy ass. Just a hairy yeah. ass picture. Like, shitty yeah. quality hairy ass picture, dude. I would I, buy I, that in a I hate... fucking beat. <laughs> I, I, hate, I, hate to give away what I'm, I hate to give away what I'm famous for, but I personally grow Snoop Dogg's rat tails and cut them <laughs> out of my ass once a month. <laughs> <laughs> I had to mute myself there you're for a Snoop second. Dogg's, you're fucking Snoop Dogg's wig maker. <laughs> <laughs> he makes. I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Snoop. I, I, I had to let him know. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. If you uh, see this video, if you see this video, give us a shout out. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna give us a shout out. He's gonna drive down. You're not wrong. Cap us. Oh, us. This, this is another fucking thing I want to share. <laughs> yeah, he's going to send the bloods after me, man. This he's is another crip. thing I want to fucking share. That's a crip. So this is another blood. thing I want to share that, that we got in the makings. I'm working on getting us some guests as well. Some like, I can't give yeah. out names yet, but yeah, I, I, getting... I emailed what's his name last night. I won't they're say TikTokers, no they're I TikTokers, him they're night. in the military. We'll we're working on getting them on the podcast. That's all we're going to give away. We're not going to give away names. A lot of these people don't like me. A lot of these people don't fucking like me uh, because I, uh, I did, I did, well, like I said earlier, I'm a bit eccentric. You know, I speak my mind. I say a lot of dumb shit. I drink and uh, I don't really hold fucking back. And uh, I was on the vet TV, <laughs> TikTok, Facebook, right? And uh, I didn't really stick around too long. I'll just, We'll leave it at that. I fucking, uh, I, I jumped in there one day. I think I was drunk and I fucking left a post that just said, Hey guys, just so you know, I'm the funniest motherfucker on this planet. Everyone else can eat shit. And then I fucking bounced. <laughs> and I left. <laughs> Not a lot of people, you know, took too, uh, too kindly to that one. So uh, a lot of the vet TV, TikTok community does not like me that much. But, you know. So we're, you know not a, we're, not, we're not a cookie cutter community. We're, we're not affiliated with them. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not trying to get affiliated. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be totally honest right now. I'm not trying to get affiliated with the t- TV TikTok community. I had my opportunity. I failed. I fucking, I failed so violently. I crashed that <laughs> directly into the ground. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, I don't want to be uh, so. I want to do my own thing. You know, well, with, now uh, that you got manager a manager, Dancy. and yeah, now that I have a manager, <laughs> now that I have a manager, his name is Dancy, and then I have Rifleman, and I have Voodoo, and uh, Michael, who's a fucking piece of shit, dumb fucking idiot, damn bald, stupid fat fuck. Uh, you know, we're gonna take over the world, dude. That's that's the whole that's the whole plan. What am that's, I? Even that's the goal. Speaking? Am I speaking coherently? Like, is what I'm saying probably, making sense? Probably, <laughs> probably not. In ten years from now, I'll probably be managing a Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get six months down the road and we're gonna crash and burn all right let's just oh, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know what i'm gonna be totally honest was. i think we're trying to hey, take hey. off i think we're trying to take off right now like without like wings wheels or an engine <laughs> <laughs> we're just running really fast down the runway we're just, yeah, we're, we're just we're, <laughs> what are we doing we're, we're trying our best <laughs> we're, we're like those 1800s inventions like bicycles with it's wings awesome. on it yeah <laughs> We're just we're it's, going it's for it now. We're living. tired. It's a it's not <laughs> eight much, but it's an honest living. It's not even that honest. I'm saying, well, actually, you know what? Actually, I'll turn that right fucking around because I'm totally I'm, yeah. The, I have the problem is we're too dead. damn honest. We're too damn honest. We're too fucking honest. <laughs> we're too honest. Every other YouTuber or fucking uh, podcast person or whatever, any of the sh- Joe Schmo with fucking Patreon is always like, we're using this for good like cause. You know, you're supporting us. We're fucking. We're doing this. We're doing that. We're having a good time. No, fuck you, dude. If you if you give me money on Patreon, I'm spending it on beer. That is, I that is the fucking guarantee right there. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no fucking red tape. There's no fucking cutting corners. There's, uh, you give me money, I am spending it on beer, uh, because I like to, to drink beer and Taco Bell. <laughs> and Taco, Taco Bell. The ne- I do gotta stick this in there. Some of it is going to the channel. Okay, yes, well, it will yeah, go back, so will go back into the quality and office. content of the cha- channel. Economics, economics 101, you know, you have to reinvest into your company and then you're Our over content you... is us being fucking yeah. drunk. So, I mean... That's pretty, yeah. Okay, so actually, then the 100% I'm spending only on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you're not, you have to have a whole new fridge that you only put the beer that you bought with the podcast <laughs> money. Buy a, buy a... <laughs> You're only allowed to drink it when you're on the podcast. 
Oh no, no. we no, we, we we got to get him one of those new. Um, I forgot what brand it is, but I think it's like Sony or something. They've got the refrigerator that like comes to you. It's, oh, the, it's like it's like the, the little fucking, fucking um the one on wheels vacuums or like yeah. on, like, on tracks and it's just like doo, doo, doo. yeah, it's like a robot. It'll come up to you and shit. Speed. That would be awesome. I wouldn't have to get up in the podcast every time. So yeah, exactly. You know how two is tradition. I don't know what is the last time I said fucking two is tradition. I don't even know if that, I've ever said it's, it on a it's been so long. No, you have, it's, but it's been forever. <laughs> it's been months. <laughs> so two is tradition. Two is tradition isn't like a thing because like, oh man, you know, uh, having two beers at once. It's just you know, just in case because you don't want to fucking have a have a break in the podcast or or a break in the act where you have to get up and go get another beer. No, two is tradition because. I kill beers, dude. I fucking murder these fucking guys fast as fuck. Like, especially when I'm talking out of the podcast, and it it, has, it stems it stems from a deep rooted hatred with my father. <laughs> if we're really gonna get into it, did he if we're really gonna get into it again? <laughs> Worse, dude. He did it. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> That did it. bitch. It was even worse than that. What kind of? I what? Oh shit! Can I say this? Is this something I can say? Yeah, this is a problem. Like far down the road. Yeah, let's 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 shift fire here. Uh, I got a story I want to tell on you... podcast. <laughs> can you cut it out for the Patreon? For this... the Patreon, this story just for the Patreon. Can you cut this part out for the Patreon. Let's let's put it at the end after we do cut, and then I'll put it on the Patreon. Oh, so it's easy. Ah, fuck. All right, I'll tell the story at the end. So this story I want to tell right now. Um. So I just I got a uh, just got a message from one guy that I've been in contact with that I was talking to you about, Stephen, and then I just got another one from the HI. I'm stoked. Of, HI? Yes, HI. Oh yeah 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 wait wait what HI? HL? Yes HL. HLC. I saw the I. I'm... HLC. Okay yeah 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 okay yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Anyways. Fucking so I I cleared this up with my mother to make sure she was okay with me telling this story and I want to tell this story because it's fucking hilarious. Nobody has ever heard this story in this podcast or in this <laughs> anything. But so my mom one day there's a whole backstory to it and I'm not going to tell it because it's hilarious the way that I was told the story. So my mom one day skipped school right and she decided. She wasted her whole fucking day that she skipped at school. What do you do when you skip school? You go out, you go to your friend's house, whatever you're doing. Or if it's the 80s and you're being filmed, you go to the arcade. She was in the 80s, but... Yeah, and then you take acid and she... get railed by a bunch of people. She hid and you go in the through fucking a closet in her room. She hid in the fucking closet in her room. <laughs> she skipped school to hide in the fucking closet. <laughs> <laughs> a wasted fucking skip school day. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, though. <laughs> oh my god, no. dude, that's something, so, that's something I would do if, like, I slept in too late for PT. I would just fucking lock myself <laughs> in my closet, turn my phone off, and just be like, and just be like cowering, just like, oh god, don't let the baby dude. Don't let my sword no, find me and just fuck me up, dude. So, so no, the, rest no, of the, no, story, no, the rest of the story is she was hanging out with some friends, I guess. She was hanging yeah. out with some friends, I guess, and then the school called her, so she knew the school was going to call my, my grandmother. And so she went back to the house. Well, they showed up, and they were walking up the stairs to check her room for her, and she panicked and stepped into the closet. She didn't close the fucking door. She just stepped into the closet. <laughs> she didn't, like, hide behind anything. She just stepped into the closet. <laughs> so that's the rest of the story. Dancy's mom story, is right? hidden in the closet? <laughs> So, so as soon as I heard this story, it, was, it was a couple weeks ago. It was actually last week, right after the last podcast we filmed. Um, Ooh. Ooh. I called my mom, and I was like, so so how big was the closet that you hid out of school in? Like, was it big enough to where you could have, like, a, a game of chess, like, playing chess with yourself? <laughs> or, like, playing some nerds or something? Like, I, I <laughs> she thought it was pretty funny, but... That you guys want to know something? Playing chess in the closet. So how big was the closet? <laughs> she never told me. 
her her evasion of evading that question was to tell just me very the true small. story. Was to tell me the rest of the story about how she 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 stepped in the closet, <laughs> didn't even close the door behind her. Like I guess I guess her dad, her my grandpa, like whooped her, gave her a spanking because she deserved it because she didn't shut the fucking door. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, since since we're since we're telling parent stories, I I've got one. Uh, Gunny told me this story once, uh, and this goes to show you how old my foster father is. Um, they used to watch the Lone Ranger as kids, and Aww. they were out on their grandparents' farm, and they were playing the Lone Ranger, and his little brother, David, put his ear to the ground like Tonto to listen to the horse beats, and th- they were playing around and everything. And like an hour later, they called him in to go eat lunch. And they're sitting there and eating lunch. And their grandmother, who I guess you could call my great-grandmother, goes, something stinks bad. Like, something really overtly stinks awful. And, <laughs> and granted, my, my foster dad, who is now over 70, he looks over at his little brother and goes, David's got shit in his ear and he had stuck his ear into chicken shit and had played around for like two hours with chicken shit in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's hilarious though. Because <laughs> he did for like two, he was like six. I mean, <laughs> imagine a six-year-old kid with chicken shit in his ear and an eight-year-old turn around and go, hey, you got chicken shit in your ear. <laughs> you guys want to know what something I just stumbled upon a crazy conspiracy. A crazy conspiracy, guys. Hold Traps on. aren't actually gay? Traps are Oh, my gay. God. I have stumbled upon... Okay, so you know how I'm a fucking big-ass nerd and I collect uh, Star Wars action figures, right? Yeah. Yes. I have... You know who Plo Koon is? Yes. No. Yes. Plo, Plo Koon what? is the pilot, right, that gets shot down in Episode 3. The pilot Jedi gets shot down in Episode yes. 3 at the Order 66. Yeah. He's the one with like a metallic fucking like talker thing, and he's got like the ears, the weird. He's like an alien, you know? That dude. And he's got like the dark islands things yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So Plo Koon, according to lore, is six. <laughs> wait, wait, how tall was he? He was six one, I think. How tall is. How tall is Plo Koon? <laughs> 6'2", right? Okay. You know Kit Fisto? Yeah. The tentacle, the tentacle guy. It's the hentai head guy. Yes. Well, Kit actually, Fisto? No, he's a Twi'lek, right? No. No, no, it's no, Twi'lek. no. Yeah, he, yeah, it's a Twi'lek. No, isn't he a Nodlin or whatever? He, fuck. Oh, is he, is he different? I don't I know. He's, he's a Nodlin. Fucking... Yeah, all right, whatever. Like the anyway, two-head the, tentacles. He's great. He's fucking green. He has tentacles for hair. That's all you gotta know. He's a Jedi. According to this, according to lore, he's six four, right? So he's taller than Plo Koon. <laughs> However, Hasbro made the toys the same the same range of toys of a- action figures, not toys. I don't have I don't play with toys unless I'm with a woman. Action figures. <laughs> <laughs> the same Which range of action there. figures. <laughs> fucking kid fist. Can you guys see on the thing? Can you guys see on the thing? You guys, I mean, I know they can. Yeah. Guys, you guys are gonna have to. Guys, yeah. guys are gonna have to. Right yeah. I see them. No, I'm I'm multitasking. They're not. They're not the same size. They're not the same size. They're not the same size. Plo Koon is taller Wait. by a what good amount. Fuck? By a good amount. By a fucking. He's also amount. wider. They fucked up too. They fu- well, he's just got robes. Like if you get, if you just like ditch the robes. Are you undressing your toys? The same, the same width. The action figures. Action fucking figures. <laughs> Fuck you, rifle men. action figures. Steven has Barbies. Bro, like fucking, it's bugging me a lot because he's like a lot taller than him. I thought I was like, oh, Kit Fisto must be a fucking goddamn short little alien guy. No, he's six four. He's the same height as fucking Michael, dude. He's fucking Michael's height. Right? Which Michael's is, not that which tall. Is, which is anyone know, if anyone wants to know, I'm taller than Michael. I'm taller than him no matter what he does. 
Can you stop Mike. deep Michael's cutting your mic? Mike, Mike's, I'm Mike's not 6'4". So. I, th- I thought Mike was like 6'1". I thought he was like 6'1". No, Mike's 6'4". Well, that's what he oh, says. Dumb. I mean, if, if if you ask me, if you ask me, Mike's like 5'2". He's short. <laughs> yeah, what does that make me? <laughs> you're, you're, oh, well, we, we know how small you Buddha, are. As far as, I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, I don't even think you are measurable in height. You're, you're just, you're, you're not even like, I think they give if, if up measuring to... people after like fucking what, like three feet? They're just like, you know what, you don't even count. Uh, I just you don't even count. You just don't even if count. You went to, <laughs> if you went to Six Flags, you could just stand by the drink machine the whole time. Because <laughs> they're not going to let you on any rides. <laughs> oh, that fucking hurts. <laughs> oh, my God. Were you, were you under the impression is, that we is... weren't going to make fun of you in your height if you brought up, well, how tall am I? Were you <laughs> under the my... impression that we were going to go easy on you after you were like, well, how tall am I? <laughs> no, motherfucker. God damn, you're the shortest person I've ever met in my entire life. And I was literally I'm in charge si- of roping a bunch of digits together for the circus. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that would have been an awesome job. I would have kept that job. That was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. In my head, it sounds very cool. It's something I made up, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I said it so many times. Imagine the Jerry and just going to make a lasso like, yeah. <laughs> Come here! Uh, I'm back, back in the barrel, uh, tiny man. Uh, scooping them up uh, with uh, my uh, hands. Uh, <laughs> imagine putting that on your resume. Oh, the conspiracy! The conspiracy. Hasbro has failed us. Hasbro has failed us. Oh, how tall is General Grievous? How do you think what think tall he is? So, so I got something real quick before we have to wrap it up here. Seven we one. Got about, we Jesus, got about. He's tall. We got about five more minutes here, guys. That's okay. Wait, how, what, what, what mark are we going to? Are were we shooting for thirty? Let's go for forty-five. All right, let's do it. Um, well, I mean, you might as well do it. I, I, beer I, I got. I got yeah, I, I was do, about to say. I, I got. I went and got two more beers and pissed. You got to go get another beer. You've already gotten two two beer runs in this one fucking episode already. Be the bleed the blow you and beer run. And believe it or not, for those of you listening, most of this nowadays is uh, we have managed to filter ourselves to an extent. We try. Uh, we try. I've, most most of this is raw fucking footage. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I've I've said some things that probably should be redacted, but yeah, yeah, I'll probably have to redact them. I'm going to listen to it all over again, <laughs> probably like three more times before I even start. Thank you, rifle. Uh, anyways, my crate, like, I was reading something about this the other day. I'm not, I like Star Wars, but I'm not, like, a super fan of it by any means. But they're, my favorite character's fucking Jar Jar Binks. I've oh heard some God. rumors. My, Darth I've heard some Jar Jar. About Darth Jar Jar. What are your opinions? Is it real? Tell me that about sounds, Darth Jar Jar. That sounds retarded as real Jar Jar. Is what real? Is what real? Darth Jar Jar. Darth Jar Jar. I fucking love that conspiracy, dude. I fucking love that. I wish <laughs> of course he's all that. over it. Oh my god. Yeah, of course I'm all over it. Oh my god. It fucking... So first off... Okay, first off, I'm I'm pretty fucking sure that's where jo- George Lucas wanted to go with in fucking first place, right? I agree. Because he wanted, he, he wanted to make him the most unsuspecting character, right? And that's what he did. He got away with it. But so many fucking fans backlash. They're like, George, you're such a shitty character. Yeah, if you want to let... Yeah, he is. Fucking George Lucas <laughs> carry out... That storyline, Star Wars, would be so much better. This, first off, I do not at all believe that the sequels happened. I just, I don't care. The the Star Wars for me ended up in the fucking uh, uh, episode six. It's over. We Whatever. did talk about this yeah. last week. Yeah. So yeah, we talked about it last yeah. week. We can't the, the, completely fill the, our Star Wars come up a lot. Star Wars. Yes, it can. No, but we did not talk about the George George George. We did not talk about the George. Have you heard of the uh, the drunken master? Have you heard of that fucking uh yes. uh kung fu fighting style? Kung fu style. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. The, the the drunken master kung fu style, uh, fighting style is basically like someone like you know they're moving around a lot. They look drunk, and the way that that they're doing it is uh every move that comes towards them, they're easily <laughs> able to parry because their opponent. It's not putting as much effort into fighting them because they believe <clears throat> they're incompetent, right? So that's how George and they're harder to hit because they're always swaying and bobbing and weaving too. Exactly, exactly. My favorite, my favorite evidence of this fucking conspiracy theory is goddamn the fact that his fucking eyes are yellow, just like all of the Sith's eyes. Like if you fucking look back uh, at fucking uh, Darth 
Jar. Uh, actually, y'all should look up Jar Jar Binks first. Jar Jar Binks, dude. His motherfucking eyes, dude. His eyes look the exact Share same. Share your as- screen so we can see it. Well, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll throw. Assholes can't see it. it. Doesn't matter. I'll th- I'll throw up. Yeah. A, I'll get a picture of it. I'll get the same picture. Send okay. All right. I'll, I'll screen and share. I'll throw it up yeah. in the video. So. All right. Screen. Go, oh, dude, oh. I'm a fucking wizard. I'll make Hold it on. happen. Boom. Boom. It's happening. Right. See. All right. Look at his eyes. See his eyes. See his eyes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, they're, they're yellow. Anakin, when he turns to the dark. Side. They turn yellow. Look at yeah. this, wait, look at this. Boom. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. See those eyes? Yeah. See Dark. my favorite my CD. favorite evidence of this is the jump Jar Jar does after Ooh, look being at almost, eyes. Being look almost at by eyes. the being Send almost by the tank. Pictures, Steven. I like the evidence I like the most is when they got almost hit by the tank and Jar Jar does the the flip up to standing and then also when he's hanging with Obi Wan, Qui Gon Jinn, you can actually watch a battle droid's head track across the way to where Jar Jar lands, which means Jar Jar managed to jump from one side of the thing to the other, throwing himself, possibly using the force to make him land on the opposite side of yeah, them. Exactly. You can actually watch the battle droid's so he, head track from where they shot at, yeah. where he was, to like 50 feet to the right now. Yeah, it was, it was act- intentional. If, I, I, I'm so mad. I'm so mad that is not how they fucking went with it. I'm also... Okay. I also think that the, uh, the, the fucking prequels could have been infinitely better if Snoke wasn't just a one-off fucking character. The, there's, Snoke just existed and created this whole fucking thing, but he was just a puppet. No, get so gay. Fuck you. If you make your fucking goddamn Star Wars trilogy need to have a thousand books behind it to explain what's going on in the fucking trilogy, then you fucking made a mistake. The only reason they made these fucking sequels the way they did was to sell merch. Because when you, when yeah. you get that to the fucking yeah, that's very, very bottom of it, uh, toy sales and fucking merch sales is what actually makes the movie like, you know... They pop. milk that shit from... They milk that shit from... Speaking of merch, buy our merch! Buy our merch! <laughs> yes. Buy our merch! <laughs> buy our merch! <laughs> buy our, <laughs> buy our, Link, buy our merch! Link in the description. Uh, and don't hey, forget the only to subscribe. Difference, the only difference between us and, and the sequels of Star Wars is we won't give you fucking shitty content. Ooh. <laughs> and, and, the money, it. Me. and the money won't go favorite. to China. It'll go to beer. <laughs> It'll go to beer. Not Chinese beer either. Just beer beer. No. <laughs> American, Can American, American beer. beer. American veterans. <laughs> All of us drinking together. Hell yeah. All right, fucking goddamn. Okay, so fucking, uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about fucking, um, no, the, 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 my greatest, my fucking favorite conspiracy theory about Star Wars. And this is the one that I am so fucking pissed off because, uh, I forgot who went through, but someone went through and meticulously, like, calculated exactly who Snoke was. And who they came up with was fucking, take a Mace Windu. Mace Windu. Mace Windu. They thought it was fucking Mace Windu. Yeah. First off, the greatest evidence for this is the fact that Mace Windu was already had already fallen to the dark side and came back. So that's why he has a purple lightsaber because purple uh, purple means uh, retribution. Uh, it's coming back uh, from the dark side, which already means he's susceptible to hate. So if his entire like Jedi Order that he's with gets killed and he gets betrayed and he gets fucking murdered, right, essentially, and electrocuted and shocked and, and struck down, he has the same scars. Snoke had the same scar that fucking Mace Windu had. He had the same disformities as fucking uh, uh, as uh, Sidious did with the fucking like wrinkled fucking disgusting skin. And he's a fucking Jedi. So being thrown out of a very tall building doesn't mean you're fucking dead. They fucked up so bad they could have had such a good goddamn thing going. Mace Windu fucking coming back as Snoke turning evil again and leading the fucking First Order to fucking take over the Republic. First off, first off, fuck the goddamn first movie. The Republic completely useless. They were just planets that no one gave a shit about. At least in the fucking goddamn, uh, in episode four, when they blow up fucking, uh, uh, shit, I forgot the name. Uh, the planet. The planet. What's the planet? Oh, shit. Elderon? Elderon. Yeah. Elderon. At least Elderon? Elderon? Elderon. Elderon. Yeah, at least when they fucking blow that up, it's, like, significant. 
because fucking Princess Leia is from there. She's right there watching uh, 6 billion people die. Or 4 billion. I think it had a population of 4 billion. Well, there goes my family. Right, go, right in front of her, right? Like, at least she, like, at least you could fucking feel like that's, like, the problem. But in fucking the new one, The Force Awakens, <laughs> like, you just watch all these planets blow up and you're like, hey, that's cool, special effects, but it has no fucking, like, like, plot. Like, you know what I mean? It has no effect on the actual plot. And then you have the fucking planet sized Starkiller base, which I love, I, I love the little hit that they said Starkiller base, because Starkiller was supposed to be the original name of uh, fucking Luke Skywalker. He's supposed to be Luke Starkiller, but he changed it to Skywalker later on. Uh, so anyway, I fucking hate the fact that it was the exact same thing. They just blew it up. They just blew up the entire planet. So stupid. Fuck you guys. Created an original. The, people have such a huge fucking like hatred for the prequel. Did I go over this last last time? I don't remember. Yes. Wow. Yes. We talked about the, the hate hatred for the prequel. Talked about the hatred for the prequel, but at least they had an original story. Okay, so yes. who would win? Who would win in a fight? Qui Gon Jinn or Obi Wan Kenobi, Master vs. Apprentice. Mm. Uh, which Obi Wan? Uh, we won't say. We'll go with the. Uh, Obi Wan in his prime, not you know, like Clone Wars Obi Wan. That way he's not just a, that way he knows a Jedi master in his own right, so he could match Qui Gon in rank and stuff. So it should be a relatively yeah. equal things because they're both masters. So both of them as masters, Obi Wan, easy. And uh, yeah. the reason why uh, I give that to him is Obi-Wan. because <laughs> yeah, and I mean it's 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 not like we're overlooking anything or we're like being like, well, I mean Qui Gon Jinn does this, this, and this. No, it's fucking so easy. Qui Gon Jinn got murdered by fucking. Darth Maul yeah. and the uh, Obi Wan. He, he got killed. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> pretty, uh, pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, Hello there. To say, Maul, Kenobi. However, Maul killed him. And this is something. This is something that a lot of people will overlook, and a lot of people won't fucking mention. When fucking uh, uh, Obi Wan strike down Darth Maul the first time and cut him in half, because I know that the the fucking uh, is it Rebels that he kills him again. Like he meets the fucking. I, th- I think the Clone Wars TV show or Rebels is when it happens. I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure it's Rebels because yeah. he's an old man when he kills him. But fucking, uh, when he strikes him down the first time, he just watched his master slash apprentice, like best friend, get fucking, like his father figure get struck down. So I think a lot of people don't realize this, but I'm pretty sure Obi Wan tuned, like, tuned in a little bit to the fucking dark side at that point. Because you can't have an uncorruptible Jedi. You can't. You cannot. Well, Every true, she watched Jedi. his master die, and here's behind the things, and he yeah. was like, ah! exactly. There's definitely it, hatred and rage yeah. right there. But, and that's, Voodoo, that's back like... To, Voodoo, back to your original question, though. If the actors themselves, if Liam Neeson had to fight, um, what's his name? Uh, Ewan McGregor. Ian McGregor, uh, Liam Neeson. Uh, Liam Neeson all the way. Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam, Neeson. Le- Liam, Neeson at, Liam Neeson at 60 would kill him. Okay, guys, so <laughs> this is going to happen, right? He has this is going to happen to us now. Experience. We're all going to get a call saying, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. But I have certain set of skills. I will find you and I will kill you. He's going to call us. I'll, I'll be like, thank you. oh, she said I would say, die. I will thank you because we fucking let him win. Uh, he would win. He, so he was hurting people on the set because he had actual fucking co- like sword mastery skills, and he was hurting people on the fucking yeah. set. Episode one, he was hurting people what he was doing, and he was dueling a fucking. So uh, you know how uh, Darth Maul, the original actor, was replaced, yeah, by the fucking yeah. uh, stuntman. It's a fucking stuntman with martial arts capability. Like, if he's hurting him. If he's hurting this dude with martial arts capability simply because he has sword fucking practice, that means he's pretty fucking good with a fucking sword. And I put, I put goddamn uh, Liam Neeson on top every time. Uh, L- Liam Neeson did almost all his own stunts in the Taken movies. Liam fucking... Neeson's pretty cool. He's bad. Well, Keanu oh, Reeves yeah. with his <laughs> shooting in John Wick movies. So uh, Keanu Reeves has effectively become like the most dangerous person on the planet. <laughs> because <Bro. laughs> I, I don't know. He Keanu does Reeves all to me. that shit. Keanu, he does all Keanu that Re- shit for real. You know, Keanu you know Reeves. for as much shit as we give the new movies, Adam Driver is pretty dope. Yeah. Yes. We should yeah. try to get him on here. Well, he, he, he's, he's, we should try and get Adam Marine. Driver 
on the Willy P podcast. Oh, uh, no. Get him on here. That would be I'm a exclusive episode. Dude. There, there's there's a again. few people. There's there's like TikTokers and stuff, but there's a few people I want to try to get that aren't TikTokers, but they're high names that would be fucking dope. Like Adam Driver you're would my, be awesome. You're my manager. Well, I mean, Adam, make it happen. Adam Driver is a former <laughs> Marine. So yeah. yeah. Morgan Freeman you know was in the Army Air Corps. Who was? Morgan Freeman. Oh, let's yeah. get Morgan Freeman on the Willie Pete podcast. <laughs> Morgan Freeman's in his old age. He doesn't give a shit. He just wants to do yeah, it. He'll do anything. He'll <laughs> do anything for money right now. <laughs> He'd be like, and so I became the new god of Rogu Spanish. <laughs> so I'm going that to... With that I, soothing voice. I'm going to sit... Riding it, on to the Rogu uh, Spanish. Who's the, who's, uh, actually, he's he, he's also from Memphis. So, I mean, I, I can see what I can do. I mean... Uh, do what happened, dude. Who's, who's, uh, like, 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 right, like, like, you're from the same team that... Like two million yeah. people are from dude. I guarantee you, can fucking get him. <laughs> you know what I love. You know what I love happening oh, you. was out of the Golden Globes. You know when when Ricky Gervais I was calling all the rich people for being pedophiles and stuff. They all look mm. offended and stuff because like you know, Epstein was your friend. They all look offended. Then they show Adam Driver's face and he's just laughing. It's like mm. <laughs> just laughing his ass ah. off. And I was like, Adam Driver. Okay, mm. uh, the, the reasons why I like the sequels is because first off, the fucking goddamn. Nostalgia of hearing a goddamn TIE fighter in like 4K, just oh, so good, so fucking good. The action scenes, the fucking fight scenes in the sequels, 10 out of 10. Every fucking fight scene, 10 out of fucking 10. Uh, Adam Driver, I did 10 out of 10. I give him a fucking 10 out of 10. I give fucking Daisy Ridley a 10 out of 10. A lot of people don't fucking like her. Is, is, is I like she her. the. Is she's the, she's the, she's the, she's the, she's the fucking main, Ren, but, um... main character. Right, so she's fucking. Yeah. Uh, apparently, let's she's, get her she's on really the right? podcast. She's a fucking. Look at her. You know what, dude? Let's just get Donald Trump on the podcast. Dog. Does, she, does she have? Does she have? Hey, well, right now he's locked up. Right now he's locked up in the hospital. So I mean, what else is he doing, dude? No, he's working. He's working yeah. right now. He's working. He's fucking oh, yeah. thick and working. Donald Trump. Oh he's yeah, thick, yeah. But still yeah. doing fucking work because uh, you know. You ever seen that video yeah, of it, when those fucking? Uh, uh, those frat kids like go up to Donald Trump and they ask him what Saturdays are for. Ask like expecting like Saturdays are for the boys. They're like Donald Trump, Donald Trump. What Saturdays for? And they like hold the microphone up to him and he's like working. And everyone's like, oh, oh okay, <laughs> working. They're like, oh, no, they're not for working. They're for drinking a lot and, and making a stupid yeah. podcast with your friends. <laughs> you know what, guys? Screw sobriety. Fucking cheers. You guys, oh motherfuckers, look at that. So oh, thanks for starting to drink look. at the very last leg of the goddamn yeah. podcast. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You yeah, up? We got like, we got like, but, but see, this, this is how, left and this is, this is how, this you is how. You want to make it a put, fucking hour? We can do an hour. <laughs> or we could just cut and do another one. Or we can make it an hour. Because I'm sober. Uh, rifle seems uh, relatively sober. Let's, let's, uh, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching uh, episode fucking uh, uh, whatever, uh, fucking the Willie Peapot. I think it's seven. Seven. Seven's seven my favorite number. Something. My lucky number, too. Uh, fuck it. Uh, it's everyone's lucky number, though, right? Seven, seven, seven. Fuck it. Uh, fuck, it. fuck you guys. Everyone sucks except me. I'm, I'm really cool. I'm famous. I have a manager. Uh, fucking. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> and his head just got bigger. <laughs> no, my head is it, so big right now, dude. My head my is head big. Getting... Steven's I mean, head is it, big, it, but it, mine's even fucking bigger. It, it, it's crazy. Well, yeah, we know it, I don't know what's going on. It's like a scientific anomaly, but the bigger my head gets, the smaller my wiener gets, and it's just it's <laughs> really bothering me. <laughs> okay, guys, since you can't see him right now, he's like fucking Megamind. It is kind of scary. <laughs> Megamind, welcome to, what is it, what is it called? Uh, Metropolis? <laughs> welcome to Metropolis! <laughs> All right. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching episode 7 of the fucking Willie P Podcast. We are recording episode 8 right the fuck after this, so it will be a continuation of this podcast. might be a little bit shorter, but it will be uh, the same exact entertainment that you are looking for in a bunch of drunk, military fucking pieces of shit that, uh, d- 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 I hope to love motherfuckers. All right, fuck you guys. Everyone sucks except me and uh, Rifleman and Dancy and fucking Voodoo. Fuck you guys. Uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye! Bye. Bye.